Chelsea 3, Middlesbrough 0. Hi, my name is Vishali. I'm at Stamford Bridge where Chelsea have beaten Middlesbrough 3 0 to go to within one victory of securing the Premier League title. It was a, a game of contrasting moods for both teams because, of course, Chelsea. Um, can wrap up the Premier League title should they beat West Brom away on Friday night. But for Borough, uh, the result condemned them to relegation. So it was a, you know, a sad, sad night for them. But I want to focus um, on Chelsea particularly today. And I want to focus on Cesc Fabregas um, as well as Diego Costa and look a bit um, on Antonio Gordon. Let's start off with Fabregas because he was superb today. I mean, he created um, two of Chelsea's goals he was just superb and he's been like that all season in terms of the way he combines with Chelsea's forwards the way that he's shown so much patience as well all season considering the fact that Conte has used him largely as a substitute now um he is a really nice stat here actually after the game uh, that he has created 10 or more Premier League goals in six different seasons more than any other player after the two assists today. Now there's been talk about whether or not he'll stay on at Stamford Bridge uh, next season but I think based on what he brings to the team um, and the commitment he's shown and the attitude he's shown I think he has to you know Conte has to do everything he can uh, to keep him at the club next season. Um, the other good thing uh, for Conte was to see Costa on the score sheet again. Um, he opened the scoring um, after latching on to, latching on to uh, Cesc Fabregas's uh, pass and nutmegging Guzan. Um, and it was his 20th Premier League goal of the season. Now, if you remember two seasons ago when Chelsea won the title, um, Diego Costa scored 20 goals in that season. Now, he went through a bit of a Premier League goal scoring drought a couple of months ago, or a couple of weeks ago rather. Um, but he's kind of revived his form. He's been getting on uh, the score sheet. Um, and it looks likely now, with Chelsea having three more games left in the Premier League, that he, he could well go on and, and record a record for himself um, by scoring more than, more than 20 goals. He does look likely uh, to leave Chelsea this season. But I think overall, if you look at the contribution he's made uh, to the club since signing from Atletico Madrid in 2014, he's been outstanding. Um, so that was obviously a really, really positive uh, point for Chelsea and Antonio Conte. Another was Marcos Alonso, who was in, was heavily involved in Chelsea's attacks all game. I mean, a lot of Chelsea's um, forays forward, a lot of their best chances came through the left flank where he was situated. Um, and, you know, he had chances to get on the score sheet as well early on. Um, and he continued to prove danger throughout the game. And I just think he's been one of Chelsea's uh, best plays. I think there's been so many good performances was all season but I think today he showed uh, yet again why that left uh, wing back role is very much his own unless of course Conte goes out and buys someone uh, to rival him. Um, another uh, positive point for Conte was the fact that Chelsea kept a clean sheet. Now against Everton last week it was the first time they'd kept a clean sheet since January when they when they beat Hull in the Premier League um, so the fact that they've scored three goals today um, but they've also kept a clean sheet will be uh, very good news um, for Conte and the fact that they did that without Kante uh, because he was injured today and of course uh, he was replaced by Cesc Fabregas in the starting lineup. Now the last thing I want to end off with today is looking at the atmosphere and, and, and the way the Chelsea fans show their appreciation for Conte. Now I've been at Stamford Bridge all season where you know, the Chelsea fans sing Conte's name every single game, but today it felt different. I mean, you could sense the, the feeling in the air today because the Chelsea fans know they are all but champions. But today, when they sang Conte's name, and they sang his name, I think it was three or four times, it was deafening. You know, it, it, was, it was so loud um, that Conte, you know, he turned around towards the end of the game and he applauded the Chelsea fans. He actually went over to Middlesbrough fans actually at full time to applaud them too and he said afterwards that while he was happy to have uh, obviously won the game, um, he wanted to applaud the Borough fans because they stayed behind and applauded their team and you know you can see just how much of an amazing relationship Conte has with the Chelsea fans and Jose Mourinho, you know, fans seem to have forgotten about him. Um, because of what Conte has achieved and, and the way he's bonded with the fans. Now, Chelsea have the chance to wrap up the title on Friday if they beat West Brom. If they don't 
secure the win there. They can wrap up the title in front of the fans here at Stamford Bridge next week when they play at Watford. And then, of course, they can lift the Premier League trophy when they host a ready relegated Sunderland on the final day of the season.